Hey YouTube, this is your girl Jazzy, aka JSG Keaton. I'm coming at you guys with a tag video. I was tagged by Mrs. J, the first lady. Hey honey! To do a pink question tag. I've done this video before, but I'm doing it again. And this time, I'm going to be like 100% truthful, like 100% honest. Because some of the questions, the first time I did it, I kind of, you know, made light of them. Didn't really go deep into like, seriously, what was the best day of my life. And seriously, what was the worst day of my life. Like, honestly... I really didn't go that deep, but this time around, I said, you know what, forget it, I'm just going to put it all out there, and so, yeah, so, let me go ahead and get started, question number one is, what is your occupation, currently, I am, currently, I am unemployed, um, in the fall, I'll be returning back to school, I took the spring semester, last spring off, and I took, um, the summer off actually no I did I just didn't feel like taking classes this summer but the spring I had to take off but um yeah I will be back in school in this fall so I'm almost a full-time student mm -hmm. and I'm currently looking for a job still nobody wants to hire people with no work experience like seriously which really isn't my fault but that's a totally different story um question number two is what is your age and your sign I am 20 years old and I am a Sagittarius Woo -woo. question number three are you single or married I am single but I have a boyfriend. Question number four. Can't leave home without my cell phone. I'm addicted to my cell phone. I'm on Facebook 24-7 on my cell phone or on my computer. I'm just like addicted to it. Um, I would be addicted to Twitter if I knew how to use it. I don't know how to use Twitter, so I don't use Twitter. But yeah, I can't leave home without my cell phone. I actually sleep with my phone. I have my phone in one hand and my teddy bear Naomi under my arm. And I sleep just like this with Naomi under my arm and my cell phone in my hand. So yeah, I'm a, my cell phone for sure. Um, question number five, what was the best day of your life? Honestly and truthfully, the best day of my life was the day that my mother's ex-husband went to jail. Um, I'm not going to call him my stepfather because he was far from any type of father figure anybody would ever want to have. He was a monster. He was... There was something wrong with him. He was sick mentally. He was sick. He molested me from the age of 5 to the age of 13. He, when... Yeah. The day that he was incarcerated and the judge sentenced him was the best day of my life. He went to jail for reasons that were not related to my molestation because I never told anybody um, until after the fact, after I had moved from Texas, after we were far, far away, um, I finally, I told my mom and she just cried and cried and cried and apologized a hundred thousand times, but yeah, but um, he, he was a monster. He wouldn't molest me in my sleep. I'd wake up to find him standing, like standing over me or looking over me touching me so that was the best day of my life the day that he went to jail was the best day of my life it's a like seriously that was the best day of my life like now like looking back at it now I mean like I'm sorry he's in jail or whatever but yeah that was the best day of my life I've forgiven him and all that you know but seriously from 5 <coughs> to 13 he molested me, so it was like to hell with him. Seriously, if he would have died, I would have been. That would have. That honestly, <laughs> if he would have died, that would be what I'd be telling you was the best day of my life. But since he didn't die and he just went to jail, that was the best day of my life. So, yeah. The next question is, what was your childhood dream? My childhood dream was to be famous, was to be on TV, was to be a singer, an actress, anything that would have me have to sign autographs or walk down the street. And people are like, oh my gosh, that's Jasmine. I know her. Like, seriously, that is what I wanted to do. I used to try to walk into the television. I used to try to stick my arm in the TV. I used to try to cut holes in the TV and jump in. I used to try to do everything to be on TV. I loved, loved, loved the idea of being famous. That's the only thing I wanted to do was be famous. I wanted to be famous. And so yeah, that was my childhood dream. Oh, another one of my childhood dreams was to learn how to speak Spanish. Um, I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. Basically, 
over 50% of the population is Hispanic, Mexican. Um, well, I'm not going to say Mexican because I really don't know, but I know over 50% of the population is Latino. So, I always, always, always wanted to learn how to speak Espanol because I always thought it was such a gorgeous language. Like, seriously, I could go to the store and just like, be like, hola, como estas, la, 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 la. But oh, now, I still love Spanish. Like, I really do. And that's my minor because I really still want to learn how to speak Spanish. But, yeah, that was my childhood dream was to be famous and to learn how to speak Spanish fluently so I could go and just speak to everybody in Spanish. So, yeah. Um, question number seven is what was the worst day of my life? The worst day of my life was when my best friend, my ace boon coon, my everything passed away. My grandmother, my mother's mother, my grandmother, she was my best friend. She was my ace. She was, I could tell her almost anything and everything. She was my favorite person in the whole wide world. Um, when she passed away, that was seriously the worst day of my life. She passed away due to complications from breast cancer. It was her second bout. Her first bout, she did it, went through chemo, had a mastectomy, hair fell out, you know, you know the routine. Um, it was gone. It was, she was, she was good. Um, second time came, came around. She got the chemo and all that stuff. Got another mastectomy. So by this time she had a double mastectomy. Um, and yeah, but the second time around she just couldn't fight it. Three tumors lodged in the, in her brain and, well, like, were on, on her, um, dang it, what's it called? I forgot what it's called, y'all. But, like, right here, like, where your brain and your spine kind of, like, meet, right up in there. Three tumors lodged right back there. So, um, yeah, they took her out. And so, yeah, so that was the worst day of my life when my grandmother died. Um, if you guys saw my Miss, Mrs., Miss Diva Likes prom contest, whatever, whatever, I have a tattoo on my shoulder right here. It's a, um breast cancer ribbon that says Nana 8705 because, I mean 9705 my bad she was born in 97 47 Lord have mercy she was born in 47 and she died in 05 and it's just a pink breast cancer ribbon and it says Nana because that was my Nana I called my grandma my Nana so yeah question number eight is who am I tagging I will be tagging PEB class of 07 LaJoyce hey LaJoyce where have you been I hope everything's okay but anyway Miss LaJoyce hey LaJoyce um dimples I twenty five sixty eight Chanelli makeup fan K Harris one two two four Kim Hey Kim Um Miss Dina Diva I know you've already been tagged but I'm tagging you again okay Hey Dina Um Mimi Girl 05 Curious Nubia and Cute Face Big Waist That is who I am tagging to do this video I mean to do this tag Uh question number nine What grosses me out any and everything I'm just kidding um, like Mrs. Uh, Jada Fresh Lady said, when people don't wash their hands when they leave the bathroom, that is disgusting. Um, when people just like sneeze or cough and like don't cover their mouth or something like that, that's nasty because I really don't want your germs. I don't like being sick, so yeah. Another thing that grosses me out, um, mushy foods. I just don't like them. They feel funny in my mouth. Prefer not to eat them. Um... What else grosses me out? Just general nasty things, you know. Dirty hands, picking wedgies, um, let me see, throwing up. You know, just general nasty things gross me out. And the last question is, what is your favorite, well, what do you drink every day? Not what's your favorite thing to drink. What's your, what do you drink every day? I drink water and I drink cranberry juice every single day. I love water and I love cranberry juice. Those are my two favorite, favorite things to drink. Like, honestly, if there's no cranberry juice in the house, there will be some by the end of the day because I love cranberry juice that much. I have to have it all the time. So, yeah, water and cranberry juice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Mrs. J, the First Lady, for tagging me. And thanks to all my lovely subscribers. Kisses, deuces, bye.